I'm really thankful for God's provision of peace through this year. He has given me peace in difficult situations at work and when I've been worried or anxious, I have felt the peace of God with me and so I'm really thankful for this. Someone who I was praying about at the start of lockdown who um, used to be a church going Christian but has recently um, sort of walked away from her faith or, or not been going to church. She has now contacted me to say that she has um, been going back to church since all of this. Thank you Lord for your mercy in preserving my life when I had COVID-19. The Lord will fight for you. You only need to be still and be still and know that I am God and what sustained me at my lowest end. Thank you Jesus for your faithfulness, mercy and love. This year I am thanking God for having a good year, uh, even though it's been a crazy year, a uh, tough year. My mental health anxiety has improved a lot. I have really felt his presence this year. We're thankful for family time. time. For family time. Yeah. I am thankful for the Alpha course I did this summer because the content was thought provoking, the discussion enlightening, and the friends I met were just wonderful. Back in 2009, the elders of Church Central felt led by God to believe for a multiplication of four sites by the end of the year 2020. Well, even in the midst of a global pandemic, we've managed to launch our fourth site this year. So thankful for God's prophetic leading and his faithfulness to us over the years. I'm thankful in 2020 that I got a new job. Working in the NHS meant that it wasn't quite business as usual but I've had a brilliant, lovely, supportive team around me to help me settle in. I'm thankful that it's nearly Christmas um, because Christmas is a time where we celebrate Jesus getting born. I'm thanking God for his provision for me and his provision for those I love and for showing me more and more of who he is. Early on in the year, God stopped me in my tracks from all my crazy busyness. And he showed me afresh that my worth is not dependent on what I do, but on who I am as a child of God. I've not been left in the lurch. God has placed me in the church. And even through this time of trouble, I'm so thankful for my bubble. I just want to say thank you for the support received this year. It's been amazing uh, from a wonderful family. Um, I hope to see you all soon. Take care. Have a wonderful Christmas. Stay blessed. We are so thankful that God provided a way for us to get married earlier this year, even in the middle of lockdown. Um, we're really thankful you provided us with a home and an amazing community group. I'm thankful for having time this year to spend with my girls. Uh, I've been on maternity leave this year uh, with my youngest, and although it's been a bit of a surreal maternity leave, it's just been really nice to have time with my girls and not have to rush to lots of places. Um, and just to be able to really enjoy spending time with them. I am super thankful for my family and the way they have absolutely loved Eden and supported me during quarantine as a single mum. I am thankful that we had such an amazing summer with loads of sunny days and um, opportunities to get outside when we couldn't have friends around in our homes. I'm so grateful to God that in the second half of 2020, our new East site has started meeting with a wonderful group of people, uh, older Christians, new Christians, not yet Christians, from a variety of different nations and from some very diverse faith backgrounds. It was just so grateful. I'm thankful for all our pets. Thank you for gingerbread. And lots of other yummy things to eat. Thank you for the Christmas tree. I'm so thankful to God for the provision we've seen in supporting older people through Caris this year. Thankful for the partnership with local churches enabling us to provide food for over 50 people and stay connected with more than 100 older people. I'm completely blown away by the additional funding and gifts we've seen, over 44,000 in this last 10 months.
2020, I'm thankful for the creation of community groups that have kept us in touch with each other. I've been so thankful this year for the Psalms. Uh, I found myself coming back to them again and again. I've been so stirred and encouraged and provoked and just kept going a lot of the time by these uh, just authentic and, and genuine and often anguished, but always hopeful and prayerful and faithful poems and songs. I think what I'm thankful for in 2020 is just the extended amount of time that I was able to spend with my family um, and how that deepened relationships um, while I was at home with them. Um, and also for just God for sustaining me through all the hard times. As a family, we're really thankful for extra time together and for all of the opportunities Jamie and Eli have had to play together and to grow as friends. Thank you God for everything. Thank you God for everything. A few months ago, I was preparing to write my 11 plus exam, but with all the COVID and all the exams being postponed, I was really nervous. But then God gave me courage and reassurance, and I went to the exam fully prepared and confident. And I thank God for this, for being with me. The biggest thing I'm thankful for this year is the presence of God, the presence of his spirit who lives in my heart, who's like a well of living water that wells up within me. Um, I'm thankful for becoming content at being at home and having a good rhythm and obviously the joining of a new person in our family who is delightful. <laughs> in this year, I'm thankful to God our little baby brother joining the family and getting to know our neighbours better and sometimes street discos. I quite enjoyed Isla's birthday even though it was hers. It was really nice and I was thinking of my new adopted brother. Homeschooling was quite annoying sometimes but we got through it until we could go to school so yeah. Hello, I am thankful for my school. That's the end. Bye.